Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's doing good. So if you've been uh, following a lot of the, uh, the recent videos and stuff, I've talked a little bit about uh, different chronographs and um, one of the ones that I use, uh, it's getting a bit beat up. It's Caldwell, I've had it for a number of years. You know, it's, it's worked good. It's, it's, uh, you know, it's done what it, it's needed to do, but, um, it's just getting kind of old and worn out and beat up and parts of it have broken and, uh, different things like that. And, and, uh, I've just been having some issues with it lately. So, um, for rifles and different things like that, I had transitioned to a magneto speed, which I'll be doing a review on that at some point here soon. And the magneto speed that works great for rifle, but then there's an issue where uh, doing things like pistol and stuff like that. Then um, you know I I needed kind of another chrono um, that would work uh, with that type of thing. So, anyways, started looking around and I had kind of done the Caldwell thing. Um, the other thing out there is there's the option of you can. Um, go totally to the top of the market and get like a lab radar, but I think those are like five, 600 bucks, uh, which it's something I, I'd consider doing at some point. But for right now, uh, I just wanted kind of, um, you know, a, a regular chrono that I could kind of shoot through a window and uh, get some speeds on. So I had, uh, you know, taken a look at this and uh, a little more expensive than the Caldwell. Um, and I thought, well, <clears throat> you know, uh, maybe it's worth giving it a try. I guess uh, this model has basically been around since 1985, and I'm sure that the, uh, I think it used to be called Crony, uh, or something like that. I'm sure the electronics on it have uh, since been updated. For instance, it does have uh, Bluetooth, which is a, a big help, I find. Um, so that'll be good to be able to connect to my phone and uh, have all the information go right to my phone. So that's going to be awesome. But uh, I believe, you know, in general, this, this model, uh, it's been around for, you know, 36 years, 37 years now. So, you know, and like I said, I'm sure the electronics and stuff get updated over time. Probably back in the day, I'm guessing, you know, back in 1985 uh, with is, you know, exp as expensive as I remember electronics being back in that era. Um, you know, I'm sure these, uh, you know, the original one of these probably went for a pretty penny back then. Uh, and especially if you adjusted for inflation. So not too bad. Got this for just over a hundred bucks. So, you know, if it does the trick for a couple years, I'll be pretty happy with that. And, uh, you know, and uh, we're going to see how it does. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get it out of the box and take a look at what comes inside the box. And then the next step is going to be actually taking it out there and using it and seeing what kind of results we get, how consistent it is. And, um, you know, if there's any sort of hiccups or anything like that, uh, that we run into with it. So it's, it's going to be interesting to see how this goes. All right, folks. So once you take the top cover off, we then have this cardboard box here. This is actually my first time opening it. So it says the package contains the chronograph, the guide wires, the hoods, the hoods, the operating booklet, and then um, we'll need to use a nine volt battery. Um, and then also if you're going to use it inside, then you can buy this optional indoor lighting system. So it says it can be mounted on a standard tripod or set it on a bench. So I don't know if this comes with the tripod or not. I guess we'll find out. It doesn't sound like it. But, you know, if we put it on the bench, that's fine. I have a nice shooting bench. So I, I can put it on that, no problem. Uh, install the included diffuser hoods only on sunny days. Turn on the switch and ready to go. Stand five to 15 feet away. Shoot through the guide wires. Velocity, velocity will be displayed and hold until the next shot. All right. So it looks like we have our booklet. So I'll have to take a look and read the instructions. I'm sure it's pretty explanatory. If you've ever used a chrono before, then the other thing is it looks like we have our plastic hoods here. Uh, this is something on the Caldwell that's uh, on mine. They just kind of gradually broke over time. Um, the pl plastic got brittle and they just ended up kind of falling apart. So 
Um, that was something that kind of sucked. Um, you know, and I don't really fault Caldwell. It's just the thing where they just kind of wear out over time. So two of those. And then um, got our little um, steel um, sticks there to kind of put in a chronograph to set our hoods up. Looks like we got the chronograph. Whoop, knocked the light over. And looks like that's all that's in the box. So pretty easy. And uh, let's see here. Okay. Looks like we got our on and off button. There's some sort of connect. So I don't know what that is. Looks like that's where we put our battery. And then there is our chronograph. So delete shot, delete string, redisplay, string change, and review. So the other thing too is we'll go ahead and have to um, download the app for this as well. So yeah, pretty, pretty simple. Um, it looks like for the tripod, basically if you're going to use a tripod with it, um, you'll have to have a tripod with uh, some sort of um, screw or something like that. I know the one that I have with the Caldwell, it's some sort of um, plastic little cutout that you slide into it. So I don't think that tripod that I have for the Caldwell will work for this. So um, I'll have to see what else i think i have another uh, camera tripod around somewhere so i'll have to dig that out and see if that'll work for this um, so i could always get that into play but also too like i said i can put it on the bench but yeah it looks pretty simple straightforward um you know and uh you know it doesn't look really overly complicated so i guess the next thing will be to get the app and then we have our booklet here so they have some different recommendations on how to use it, where you should stand, how many feet away, um, all that sort of thing. And um, different conditions that may cause problems. Light. You know, one of the things I have found with a lot of these chronographs, and this is kind of an issue, um, you know, where I live uh, with that Caldwell one that I had. Um, and I'm sure, you know, it could be a potentially an issue with this one is a lot of times I have very variable lighting conditions. So, you know, you'll have cloud one minute, you'll have sun come out the next, all that sort of thing. So, you know, anyways, so they have different things in here to read up on, um, you know, so, so you don't get false readings and different things like that. So I'll give it a read just to educate myself more. And then, um, Different little things here, if there's any sort of errors, um, low battery, stuff like that. Um, what the different buttons do, all that sort of thing. And then also to the Bluetooth connection. So this to me, um, this was one thing that I did whenever I bought the Magneto Speed Chrono, was that um, I didn't have any sort of um, uh, I didn't buy the more expensive one with the Bluetooth um, connection or any way to connect it to your phone, which I kind of miss because then all your data just gets automatically recorded in your phone and then you can go back and look at it later and, uh, and all that. So, you know, definitely if, as, as long as this app works good, I'm, that's going to be a big, big plus. Um, so that'll be sweet. And then also, too, they have a couple of different accessories that you can buy as well. So yeah, looks pretty simple, straightforward. So next step is, is to download the app, take this up to the range and get started shooting with it and see how it goes. Okay, so to use it pretty easy, you just flick it to on, which I've already done. And then uh, we let it run through its initial warm up there, get it going. Uh, and then for your data, you have two options. You can use the buttons here on the front to cycle through uh, your string and to see your data and then delete the, the data once you're done if you want. Uh, and then the other option you have is to use um, their uh, Bluetooth software. So you connect with Bluetooth and then basically in here what you'll do is you will set up um, your new shot. Uh, you click on the button new shot list and then uh, you can type whatever description you want. It's also taking a note of the temperature, barometric pressure, all that sort of thing. Um, you can add bullet weight if you want. You can add custom attributes if you so need to. 
uh, and do it that way. So like up here, this is a string that I just shot the other day. Uh, yesterday, or yep, yesterday. Um, and so here's the data for it. It was shot out of a revolver. So this is a project I'm working on right now. And then uh, if you want, what I, off, uh, what I pretty much do is I just uh, turn it into a text summary and then I email it to myself and then I keep it in an email folder on my computer or it's accessible by my phone. So I keep all the data that way or you can just store it here in the app if you so want to. But I usually just, um, the same way I used to do in my old Caldwell, I just email it to myself. So whatever you want to do, um, however it works for you. And then uh, you can also look at like a um, graph. It'll graph it out for you with a button there on the bottom uh, to do that. So right there, you can just hit the graph so you can see how it all came out. You can see this, uh, the velocities on this were all over the place. So you'll see that in the 38 special video. And, um, and then here's some of the mathematical data for that. Number of shots, average of all the shots, the spread, the deviation, uh, the temperature and uh, and all that so you got that all being calculated for you and then you can make a duplicate shot list if you want to use the same name so like if you're shooting multiple strings you just want to name them one two or three however you want to do that so yeah um, the software I find is really handy so you know I would recommend overall that you pretty much download the app and use the app but so far no problems with the app recording data or anything like that just make sure that before you go to launch and basically set off to do your string um, that you have uh, you know basically you're connected with Bluetooth to the chronograph and um, you've also clicked on what shot list uh, your new shot list that you've put in or whatever and you should be good to go all right, so we went ahead and created a shot group. We're going to shoot some 32 ACP actually. And um, we'll, once you get the, the shot group actually set up, you click on it. And then this is the screen that you'll see right here. And uh, this is what we'll go ahead and record all your data for you. Now, the other thing too is that if you are concerned whether it's paired or not, you can just go to the main, main menu and look at digital link there. And the thing is, is to let the app actually pair with the unit. Um, don't do it through your settings menu. It, it won't work. So just make sure your Bluetooth is, er is on and we're connected. So we are good to go. All right, folks, Beretta 81, 32 ACP. Let's go ahead and shoot a string and see what we get. All right. Okay, so we can have a look at the data right here. Uh, 992 feet per second. We've got our 12 shots there. Looks like really tight uh, on the uh, feet per second there. Uh, 992, 991, 994, 983. Uh, pretty good and so we can go ahead and look at the whole group there and then also it's calculating the foot-pounds of energy power factor as well um, and all that so and then let's have a look at the graph 
and we can scroll through that and have a look at everything uh, with the graph and then also too like I said if we want to email it to ourselves we can just go ahead and do that too so yeah pretty convenient um, you know how it records all the data no issues everything looking good all right, folks, so um, to wrap up the review on the Pro Chrono DLX, so we're not going to overdo it on the shooting footage because I've got a lot of uh, reloading videos in production right now, and you're going to be seeing it feature heavily coming up here with the different projects that we're working on right now. Um, so if you want to see more footage of me using it, um, stay tuned for that. Uh, 38 Special and 9mm, those are uh, kind of the, the big things going on right now. Um, and also too, what you think about that Beretta 81 there, um, you know, beautiful handgun, 32 ACP. Uh, I love shooting that thing. Sometimes it's fun to shoot the big boomers. Uh, this, this is almost kind of like a super, uh, super 22 LR in a way. Um, awesome handgun. If you want to see me do a video on that in the future, um, please ask and leave a comment below. Um, and I'll, and I'll look at putting that into the production uh, schedule to make a video on that. Excellent deal when those came into the country a couple years ago, they were just over 200 bucks So if you didn't get one <laughs> You missed out because uh, hopefully they'll bring in more of them if they bring in more of them. I'll buy another one but awesome pistols so With the pro chrono DLX so far Absolutely no problems at all very easy to use it does have on the bottom of it uh, Let me go ahead and lift it up for you so you can see um, there is right there a little screw hole where it looks like it'll fit into like any standard uh, camera tripod so if you do want to mount it on a tripod you can do that if you so desire um, what I've been doing as you saw is I pretty much just put it right here on the table and then sit in a chair behind it and shoot from a couple feet away um, and do that and that works fine um, I uh, haven't had as many issues as um, whenever I had my Caldwell before. The Caldwell seemed to be a little more finicky in terms of um, lighting conditions and, and all that. Um, weather conditions, hot or cold. Uh, a lot of times it worked great and then other times it would just be, you know, just, I don't know. It was just had a mind of its own sometimes um, depending on the conditions. This one seems a little more consistent and uh, seems to deal with that a bit better. So why that is, I don't know. Um, you know, electronics in terms of, um, you know, what's in this one compared to the Caldwell, I don't know. But it just seems like it functions better um, and can deal with different lighting conditions better. I don't think that the Caldwell, like, sucks or anything like that. Um, but this one just seems to be um, a little more... Uh, consistent in terms of dealing with the different weather conditions that I have to put up with so that's all good the data is good and on also to the, uh, the the software works great as well you can keep all your data store it whatever um, and uh, send it to yourself and uh, so far no issues in terms of um, connecting Bluetooth with the chronograph or anything like that um, that was uh, one thing with the uh, Caldwell I had. Now, mine was an older Caldwell, so I had to uh, physically connect the phone um, to the Caldwell. And then um, uh, these days now, they don't put a headphone jack uh, in the phones anymore. Um, so that kind of, once I got rid of that old phone, I couldn't really use the Caldwell anymore to record data. So, you know, but I think now they've upgraded theirs with Bluetooth. But... I think for the money, I've been real happy with this. Uh, in the future, I'll look at maybe doing the whole lab radar thing. It's not a priority right now. This this seems to work great. Um, if I have any issues in the future, uh, I'll be sure to let everyone know. And like I said, you're going to be seeing it a lot more coming up. So if there's any problems that crop up, you know, um, I'll be sure to barf it up. But uh, at least for right now, running great, works great, and uh, you know. Uh, it's, doing, it's doing what it needs to do and it's not complicated to use and <laughs> that's the thing with me if stuff is complicated or a pain in the butt to use I, I typically don't like it and this uh, this works quite well so anyway folks if you're interested in picking one up check out the Amazon link below um, if you do buy through that link it does kick back a couple of bucks to the channel 
and it's just kind of a way for people to voluntarily support the channel if they like the content and um, just to let you know also too um, I'm working on tons of videos and working on video production quality and all sorts of stuff so stay tuned a lot of interesting things coming up that we're working on and um, yeah so thanks for tuning in folks uh, any questions comments leave them below and we'll see you next time